Hi there. This video is next week's extremely aggressive, chilly, foggy weather forecast. UK 24. Like this video, press the thumbs up, left side of the screen right now, please. The date today is 27th of October, Sunday evening, guys. 24. So, this is the upper low, yep, upper low petite temperature. The place two inches a day with the upper low petite temperature. Of the west coast of South Korean America, east and central and western and Pacific region, north Pacific Ocean, upper global sea temperature, and the north Atlantic, upper global sea temperature, off the west coast of Africa, upper global sea temperature, and the Gulf of Mexico, upper global sea temperature. That's it's going to the gate, guys. Wow! I put a spell on you guys to stay with this weather forecast. So, about the, you name it, central La Nina base getting to getting quite strong now to La Nina colour of blue, and the east and the west is definitely a strong. A weak, moderate La Nina going on at the moment across the central base, a Pacific region right now. And uh, it's starting to cool off in the Atlantic now. There's still a chance the Gulf of Mexico is quite warm of one more hurricane forming. Hurricane Raphael or Hurricane, um, you name it, Patty. Yeah, Patty. And here off the east coast of, of Florida, around the east coast of uh, New York, Gary, around this part of North America. And look out for that, guys. This is my weather forecast. We'll see, guys, in a few minutes' time what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, it's like it's coming down across the rest of the UK. Yeah, I can only see the show. And you'll see, especially. And this is the American 12 GFS model. It's about a high pressure fest going on. You've got low pressure over, over you name it, Greenland. So you've got uh, the solar westerlies coming in from the west at times and the easterly winds at times. But it does look more drier. There's no sign of the wet weather for Guy Fawkes tonight at the moment uh, on the 5th of November or on the 9th of November for a waking fight display. So it looks like it's dry at the moment. And foggy and frosty. This is the main forecast for you on Local 12 GF Festival today. This is the upper air temperature across Waking Town looking at today locally. Red lines are 30 year upper air, air temperature. White lines with the temperature going, it's going well over the upper air temperature, well above it at times. The green lines are operational, so it's looking quite mild for the future across Working Town locally. And a few rains and spikes in the future. Not a lot of precipitation until we get to the middle part of November. It looks like a very dry first half of November and a very wet last half of November across Working Town locally. And this is the forecast, of course, working today locally. That's the future forecast. Look at the present time. Look at like it's very wet weather coming in tomorrow morning. This morning, well, tomorrow morning, because working today locally. Quite a lot of precipitation. It dries up. It's like a very dry high of like 16 Celsius. That's so about average for October. And still about average to so that temperature there. Quite foggy and misty in its mornings. Look out for that, because working today locally. And Saturday, wow, it looks like it's going to start turning cold into the future. And easterly wind blowing in, causing the Met Office. It's quite snucky. Well, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> Guaranteed, I said it's a fuck, it doesn't change that far ahead. But it's pretty cold in the future. Met Office is going for a cold start to winter of 2024 across the UK, potentially, but the American GFS model is not. And this is the um, forecast, the European, well, global forecast, the main forecast from the 18th to the 24th of November. This is the temperature, and uh, that looks pretty um, mild for the future, because we can turn locally well <laughs> across the UK widely. Uh, very mild start to no end of November, potentially. Very mild end of November. Very mild. Where's Atlantis coming in? Wet weather. Wet, yeah, wet weather. You can see here, guys. Look at that. The blue colour. This is precipitation. Wet weather. So it's looking like it's going to turn wetter, like I said too early, in the last half of November. And this is, um, yeah, I'll put it spelling today, guys. This is the forecast across the um, UK. Well, not UK, across America. And these are the two uh, hurricane triple storms. Uh, that's probably triple storm or hurricane. You name it, Patty, and that's probably Raphael, sort of storm hurricane. Raphael, I keep an eye on these two guys. It's the American 12 GF as well across North America. It's the Arctic Oscillation, and then that's positive. That means you've got high pressure over Greenland and low pressure over the UK, and the uh, North Atlantic Ocean is in agreement with that. So it's only a normal block at the moment. This is the, uh, you name it, up air temperature across the North Pole, 10 HPA, or we call it Vorpol. Yeah, the Vorpol to the Vorpol to Dune. There's no sign of it getting any. Uh, Deeper, no purples there, luckily, so it's not too much of a to do, but it's pretty much uh, no sign of SSW. You want SSW, you want to see red and yellow colours penetrating the North Pole. It's early days for SSW, so you wouldn't expect it until back January or February into March. And this is the uh, well forecast working time on Christmas Day. It's like a 25% chance of snow on Christmas Day, and it's fair and it's high 11 Celsius, quite mild for Christmas Day because working time, luckily. No sign of any snow in the forecast, the rains forecast, even the short rains forecast, because actually. Because southeastern reasons for waking time locally at the moment. I'll keep you posted on my show. Please subscribe to San Diego. Leave my forecast. I'm always 85 percent right about winter forecasts and anything else. I know we're global because hurricanes because it's a discussion on San Diego. Leave my forecast. Might be.